Hello, welcome to the Spring of Grace. Uh, we continue with our journey uh, through the Ten Commandments and we are in the second commandment which says you shall not make for yourself an idol. You shall not make for yourself any graven image. This commandment prohibits the making of any idol in the form of anything in heaven, anything on earth, or anything that is below the earth. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 4. The Israelites were surrounded by pagan gods who had uh, uh, idols cut from in many, many forms. And God warned his people that they must not worship him like the other nations worship. That they must worship him alone, exclusively. Indeed, he says when giving the second commandment, For I am a jealous God. I want your exclusive worship, for I alone am God. But how does this uh, second commandment apply to us in these days when we hardly have anyone making graven uh, images? Now the way to understand is to look at that commandment again. It says, you shall not make for yourself. That word make is important because people always are always drifting towards worshipping the works of their hands. Our success, our fame, our goals. The things we have made with our hands easily become the gods to whom we bow. As has been said often, anything you adore more than God or that which draws you away from God becomes your idol. Notice that um, the Bible shows in the New Testament that idolatry is very closely related to coveting or covetousness, very closely related to greed, greed for more especially for that which is not right for yours. Listen to the Bible, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 5. For this you know that no fornicator, unclean person, nor unrighteous, and, and no a covetous person who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of our God. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 5. Therefore put to death your, uh, your members who are on the earth, uh, fornication, uncleanliness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. So to apply the second commandment, we must be free of covetousness. We must be free of greed. We must not bow to the God of materialism. We must set apart the Lord as God alone in our lives. Now in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter 35, as an example, God appeared to Jacob and directed him to go back to Bethel, the place where God first appeared to him. And the Bible says, go, go up to Bethel and settle there and build an altar there to God who appeared to you when you are fleeing from your brother Esau. That's verse 1. And Jacob knew exactly what to do if he was going to encounter the Lord and offer a sacrifice that was acceptable to God. So we read in verse 2 that he says to, uh, he said to the members of his family, Get rid of the foreign gods you have with you and purify yourselves and change your clothes. Then come, let us go up to Bethel, where I will build an altar to God who answered me in the day of my distress. Today, God invites us to enjoy him more intimately. In a way like uh, Jacob to go back to our Bethel. But to do so, we must get rid of all foreign gods. The foreign gods of materialism. The foreign gods of pride. The foreign gods of selfishness. The foreign gods of bitterness. The foreign gods of covetousness. We must get rid of every one of them. Remember, God commands, you shall not make an idol to you, yourself and bow down to it. Shalom, may the Lord bless you and keep you as you worship the Lord with all purity and with all grace. Amen. Clear the stage and set the sound and the lights ablaze If that's the measure you must take to crush the idols Jerk the pews and all the decorations too Until the congregation's fuel and have revival Tell your friends that this is where the party ends Until you're broken for your sins You can't be social and seek the Lord and wait for what He has in store And know that great is your reward So just be hopeful Cause you can 
Sing all you want to, yes you can Sing all you want to You can sing all you want to and still get it wrong Oh, worship is more than a song Break from all the plans that you have made And sit at home alone and wait for God to whisper I beg him please to open up his mouth and speak And pray for real upon your knees until they blister Shine the light on every corner of your life Until the pride and lust and lies are in the open Then read the word and put to test the things you've heard Until your heart and soul are stirred and rocked and broken Cause you can sing all you want to Yes you can sing all you want to Worship is more than a song We must not worship Something that's not even worth it You clear the stage Make some space For the one who deserves it Anything I put before my God is an idol And anything I want with all my heart is an idol And anything I can't stop thinking of is an idol Anything that I give all my love is an idol Cause I can sing all I want to, yes I can Sing all I want to That's the measure you must take to cross the idol. 